So I've spent 30 years starting and selling businesses. I've started 11 and sold eight. And what I found it, that it was common to all of them is that uh, I had to grow revenue, and that was a paramount focus for me. And then gain access to both uh, capital, cash capital, and human resource capital to be able to grow my companies effectively. All of the activities that I was engaged in were really around those two focuses, primarily you know, accelerating revenue, gaining access to capital, and then the things that would stand in the path of, those, of the success of those two items would be things like operations and financial forecasting and what I call the DNA of the company, which is brand and then the, the DNA of the people you bring on board, the team that you build around that brand, funding and legal issues. So those were, the, you know, sales, marketing, uh, those seven topics were the things that I focused on all the time. To really accelerate revenue, you have to understand your marketing piece, and that is what problem are you solving, how are you solving it uniquely, and what your value proposition is. And you're dealing with that pretty constantly. You initially come to market with what you think is your market offering, and then you have to act like a prairie dog. You kind of do your work, dig in the, in the dirt there, and then you stand up tall to see who's going to, you know, encroaching on your territory ready to eat you. Uh, because if you've hit, you know, a pot of gold, uh, you've essentially screaming to the world, come and, and compete against me in the territory that I've just discovered. And so we teach people how to be productively paranoid and how to really hit um, what we call uh, foundational work on, on what their market offering is. You've got you've to make sure you hit bedrock before you put the case on the bridge to, between what you offer and where your, your customer is. And so doing that work, although it's, it speaks easy, is really pretty engaged in difficult work to do and it's ongoing work. The other part of what you need to be doing to accelerate your growth is tending to your sales funnel. And so things like uh, how do people become aware of me? How do they gain confidence in me? Try my product out, buy my product and then repeat and refer, uh, repeat that process and refer me to their trusted circle of influence. That's the sales piece of that and you're doing that all the time it, at each of those kind of this concentric circles of of what the sales funnel produces which is your contribution margin you need to be managing each of those for example if you were in the insurance business it's things like how many phone calls am I making that lead to appointments how many appointments lead to presentations how many presentations lead to uh, medicals how many medicals lead to closes and commission and and you find out where your richest sources of each of those conversion plate you know points uh, come from and managing that is a way of radically accelerating your your revenue growth. The other piece is the operations piece and that is being able to deliver on the promise of the success of your sales and marketing efforts. Um, I find that most companies don't fail for lack of clients, they fail because of their inability to fulfill on the promise they've made to the clients. Marketing and sales and operations is your daily focus. And then you have financial analysis and then the last piece is funding where you're going to be going to the markets to either get cash to survive to profitability or to accelerate your capacity to handle the, you know, you go from three-year to five-year capacity to handle the success of your sales and marketing. And again, as I mentioned, what we call DNA and legal considerations. And as a, a, a business owner and founder, um, I don't know of an activity that I've engaged in that doesn't fall into one of those seven categories of behavior. And the minute I take my eye off the first three daily, sales, marketing, and operations. Um, the boat bow can go into water quickly and not come up. To brag just a little bit, we're part of a national, or excuse me, of a statewide network of business resource centers, uh, including one in Salt Lake. Uh, our service region is the same service region that UVU reaches, which is the Wasatch County and Utah County, and kind of parts south and a little bit west. Um, and that, that territory has about one third the businesses of the Salt Lake area. And we clean Salt Lake's clock routinely in total revenue growth and capital acquired and jobs created uh, because I'm surrounded by really good people that understand what makes businesses grow.